Today we will show you how to make ties. The materials you'll need are a cutting mat, 50 centimeters of cotton, 1 meter of woolen fabric, 25 centimeters of English lining, 1 meter of raw silk or the fabric you want for the tie, 9 centimeters of bias, measuring tape, ruler, rotating cutter, one thread the same color of the tie, one thread the same color of the bias, pins, chalk, little scissors, number six needles, J foot, and an iron. In the paper that you use for the patterns, cut these two pieces to make the lining. All the patterns in this video already include seam allowance. You have to do two triangles like this, 16.5 by 16.5 by 24 centimeters. The next triangle, 8 by 8 by 11.5 centimeters in diagonal. Place the lining and in a corner put both triangles and mark them with a chalk. For more precise cuts, use a rotating cutter. You can use a metal ruler to make the straight cuts. The lining pieces are ready. For the inner lining one, you have to cut this piece in cotton. Remember you can download this pattern from our website. Mark them like this, 7 cm from side to side and 5 cm in the diagonals. Remember the length of this piece is 77 cm. The other side should be 2 cm and 1.5 cm down. Mark the diagonal matching the dots. Mark this pattern in cotton. Cut the fabric to the grain line. And now we have the first 3 pieces for the tie. The lining number 2. You have to cut this piece in woolen fabric. This is to give the tie some shape. Mark the pattern on the woolen fabric and cut it to the bias. Remember this is the interlining of the tie. Now let's cut the tie's fabric. We recommend using raw silk. This piece you have to cut it to the bias. Mark the pattern on the raw silk and cut it. This last piece is really long, don't get surprised by its length, it's fine. Put the English lining on the ends of the tie. In the widest end, it should be 1 cm inside. And in the smaller side, it should be half centimeter. Cut the remaining fabric in the corners. Sew the pieces with 1 cm seam allowance. You can follow the guidelines on your machine. From the corner down, mark 3 cm, fold and sew on the line. This is one of the most important steps for ties. Repeat the procedure on the other side. Turn around and iron where you saw. It's important to sew, so the stitches are nice and flat. Center the cotton on the woolen fabric and pin it. Like 
Once it's ready, place it in the middle of the fabric. Insert the tip of the tie in the lining. Fold the right side to the border of the lining. Remove the pins underneath and pin again. Fold the left side and fold one centimeter in the middle. Pin all the length of the tie. To give a better presentation, sew it by hand with an invisible stitch. Always pass the needle in the middle so the stitches and the thread remain hidden. Continue sewing until you finish all the length of the tie. Make a stitch between the fabric and the lining to close it. It's fine with a few stitches. Reinforce the stitch and hide the thread. The breeze. I need this. Repeat the procedure on the other side. On the widest part of the tie, from the tip of the tie, mark 29 centimeters up and put the bias. Fold the sides inside 1 cm and sew it with an invisible stitch. Don't forget to reinforce the stitch. Finally, iron everything. Remember tailoring requires a good ironing, that's the key to a great job. Now you know how to make ties. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit our website for more tips, tutorials and videos.